Word from the Lord. Tonight we're going to look at a word from Joshua. This is an interesting uh, chapter. I, I like it personally. But in, in chapter 1, in verse number 6 is what I'm looking at here. And it says these words. Be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide an inheritance the land which I swore before thy fathers to give them. In other words, God had made a promise and that he had some land and they were going to inherit the land. I want to talk just for a few moments about how do I get a blessing? How do I get a blessing? Everybody wants blessings. And even, even if you go and you listen to the ministers or listen to people preach, everybody's talking about how to get a blessing. Interesting here in this text. How do I get a blessing? Now, now we know Moses is dead. Joshua's on the scene. So God has given him some instructions. How do I get a blessing? Now, 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 number one. Now, he tells him something in verse number seven. In verse number seven, he says, Joshua, I want you to be courageous. Being courageous means that I'm going to go out there and I'm going to take over. I'm going to get my blessing. So many times we miss blessings because we're not courageous. We say, well, you know, I, I, I know God is going to bless me. Oh, I know God is going to bless me. Wake up. Let's, let's be real. To get a blessing, sometimes you just have to be courageous. You have to go after the blessing. So he tells him, he says, now, Joshua, I want you to be very courageous. I want you to be strong. I want you to be mighty. But I want you to be courageous. So go after the blessing. So number one, how do I get my blessing? Be courageous. Verse number eight. Be mindful. Be mindful. What do you mean be mindful? He told him, you know what I want you to do? This is verse number eight. You know, take this book, take this law. Yeah, when it comes out of your mouth, hold it, eat it up, digest it. Uh, why? Because I want you to meditate day and night. Continue to meditate. What are you meditating for? I just told you that I've given you a promise. I want you to meditate on it. Keep it in your mind. God has given me a promise. I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. You're saying, wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was for them. What about me? Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be what, given to you. They're yours if you just, you, you just come to me. You just worship me. So now, first thing, be courageous. Then be mindful. Well, What's the next thing that, that Joshua has to do? He told him in verse number 9, Be not afraid. Why are you so afraid of going after your blessing? Being courageous and being mindful. Why are you so afraid? Some people, when it gets like that, gets tough and rough, you know what they'll say? Well, I, I don't know. I, I, I've been praying about it. I, 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 I kind of feel like God's going to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. I know God's going to do this. That's why I'm courageous. Some of y'all think, oh, he, he's a little bit off. Yeah, I'm off for Jesus. You know what? Because I'm going gun ho. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to be courageous. I'm going to hold him to his word. I tell you what, I'm going after it. This is my blessing because he's told me, hey, this is your blessing. So go after it. Then I'm going to be mindful. I keep it on my mind. This is what he said. I'm going to take him at his word. Now that I'm going to take him at his word. And I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to get dismayed. And I'm not going to let anybody throw me off my route to my blessing. So what you need to do? Be courageous. What you need to do? Be mindful. And don't be afraid of the blessing that God has for you. Y'all be blessed.